Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today on Milanese Math, we're going to be talking about how to take measurements in the imperial system. And as always, if you want to follow along with this worksheet, it'll be the first link in the description below. So a very popular thing that we need to do in the real world is measure the length of something or its mass or its volume. And there's two basic systems for doing that, the imperial system and the metric system. Basically, the entire planet uses the metric system, except for us here in the United States and I think like one or two other countries. I think there's only two or three countries in the entire world that use the imperial system. And of course the United States is one of them. So we need to know how to take these measurements and convert them. Um, so the way we're gonna do that is when we're talking about length in the imperial system, we have inches as our smallest measurement, 12 inches makes a foot, and then three feet or 36 inches makes a yard, or 5,280 feet makes one mile. Those are the common ways that we're gonna measure length in the imperial system. Mass, we've got ounces, pounds, and ton. And volume, we've got fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons, okay? And then time is sort of universal. I went ahead and put this one on there anyway, um, but time is the same imperial system or metric system. And oftentimes the question is gonna ask us just to convert. And these aren't too bad if you know what your conversion factor is. So for example, look at number one, it says 60 inches is how many feet? Well, I know that um, every foot is a group of 12 inches. So essentially what I'm wanting to do is take that 60 and divide it into groups of 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. Well, 60 divided by 12 is five. So 60 inches is the same as five feet. So all you have to do is take your conversion factor and then think about whether you're multiplying or dividing. Um, let's take one like number two. It says three pints equals how many cups? So this is a measurement of volume and they want us to go from three pints to two cups. Well, if you look at your table up, up above, um, every pint has two cups. So really what we need to do is take the uh, measurement that they gave us, three pints, and use our conversion factor, which in this case is a two. And you gotta think, okay, where well, are we multiplying or dividing? Well, every pint has two cups. So it's three groups of two. So we would multiply. So three times two is six cups, okay? All right, uh, how about one like number three? Uh, we've got 10,000 pound equal how many tons? So this is a measurement of mass. And I know that every ton is a group of 2,000 pounds. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking these 10,000 pounds and we want to divide it into groups of 2,000 because every ton is, is 2,000 pounds. So 10,000 divided by 2,000 is five. So that's the same as 10,000 pounds is the same as five ton. Okay, let's try one, another one with distance here. We've got 2.8 miles and we want to convert that to feet. I always have my students just think, just before you start multiplying or dividing, would there be, like, is the final answer supposed to be a big number or a small number? Well, think about 2.8 miles, right? How far that is. That's going to be a bunch of feet. So I, my final answer better be a big number. The conversion factor to go from miles to feet is 5,280. So really what I've got here is 2.8 and 5,280. So just common sense, if I want my final answer to be big, would I multiply or divide these? Well, you would multiply. And that makes sense because every one of those 2.8 miles is a group of 5,280. So if we multiply that out, we get 14,784 feet. Okay. The ones like on number five, I think are the ones that get my students tripped up the most. And it's when you're in the, when you're measuring something in volume and you have to go from one of the smaller measurements to one of the larger me measurements or vice versa. And it's because we have to really stop and think through what we're doing. So eight cups doesn't immediately jump to gallons after cups is pint. So really what we need to do is say eight cups divided by two because um, there's two cups in every pint. So that would give me four pints. Ultimately, they want the final answer in gallons. We just need to go from one position to the next. So now we're at pints. Now we've got to go to quarts. Well, how many pint are in a quart? Well, there's two. So now we've got to go four uh, divided by two again, and that gives us two quarts. 
we're still not to gallons, but now we can go from quarts to gallons. How many quarts is in a gallon? There's four. So now I've got to take the two quarts that I had and divide that by four because there's four quarts in a gallon. Well, two divided by four is one half or 0 0.5. So ultimately eight cups is the same as one half gallon or 0 0.5 gallon. And that's just one of those, I think are the harder ones where you have to, you can't jump from the top of the scale to the bottom of the scale. Um, you sort of have to take your time and go one step at a time. Okay, how about one more like that? 522 days, now we're talking about time and we want that in years. Well, as we all know, there's 365 days in a year. So really what this is asking us to do is take 522 divided by 365. And if you grab a calculator, that's gonna be 1.43 years. Okay, so before we do anything else, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and try numbers seven through 12. Assuming you've had a chance to do that, another common question here is gonna be to uh, compare two values or two numbers that are in different measurements and they want you to pick the one that's either bigger or smaller. In this case, it says circle the greater quantity and if they are the same, circle both quantities, okay? So which one is bigger, 40 inches or one yard? Well, pick one of them and convert it to the other one. So if, for example, in this first one, I'm gonna take the one yard and I'm gonna convert it to inches since that 40 inches, it's in inches. One yard would be 36 inches. So it's always good to convert it first and then it's kind of obvious just which one is bigger, 40 inches or 36 inches. Of course, 40 inches is bigger. Okay, how about number 14, 3.25 pounds or 60 ounces. I'm gonna take that first one, the 3.25 pounds and convert it to ounces because I know in every pound is 16 ounces. So really what I need to grab a calculator and do is 3.25 times 16, because there's 16 ounces in a pound. And I think I already multiplied that out, yeah. So 3.25 times 16 is 52 ounces. So what ultimately is bigger, 3.25 pounds or 60 ounces? Well, it would be 60 ounces because 60 is bigger than 52. Okay, um, let's see, one more here. Uh, 128 ounces or one gallon? Well, I'm gonna take the gallon and convert it all the way down to ounces. So let's go from first, let's go from gallons to quarts. I know one gallon is the same as four quarts. And four quarts would be eight pints. How did I get there? Well, I just multiplied by two because there's two pints in a quart. Okay, and then same thing, that's gonna be, if I multiply by two again, that's gonna be 16 cups. Again, all I did was take the eight times two. And then let's see, um, I think the last thing I need to do is take that to ounces. And I know that there's eight ounces in a cup, so eight times 16 is 128. So it's 128 ounces. So what's bigger, 128 ounces or 128 ounces? They're the same. 128 ounces is the same as one gallon. Okay, so the technique for that is just pick one of them, convert it to the other one, and then just compare the numbers. So hopefully this video was helpful about learning how to convert in the Imperial system. And if it was, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.